Hey folks, today is March the 6th. It's currently 10, 12 in the morning. Got to my desk and saw we had a trade here on GBPUSD. I did check the setup. And as we can see here, got our arrow pointing down. The future predictor is pointing down. And I went ahead and uh, jumped into this trade. Ideally, we would have uh, liked to see a few more bars after this arrow before I jumped in. But I jumped in because this level has been used as support on multiple occasions. And it's also been tested as resistance. You know, it came up, came down, came up. And then right here, it's being tested again. So I do believe that we'll get a push down here. And so we'll be patient and see what happens on that trade. As we can see, USD CAD, let's take a look over there. And that was a sell trade. All right, so that could have potentially been a trade set up. We, we can see here that the future project, excuse me, future projection is definitely pointing down heavily there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. We did have some uh, Canadian news, I believe, at 10 o'clock. And it's 1014, so we're already beyond that. Probably won't be taking any trades on USD Swiss franc. We're now outside of the grid there. Won't be taking any trades on Euro USD as we're outside of the grid there as well. All right, let's see here. Looks like we got USD CAD. Let's take another peek over there. All right, so on USD CAD, we're looking for a sell trade. We can see it's pointing down heavily. So let's go ahead and jump in there. And I recall somebody asking if it would be uh, beneficial to wait for a pullback. And it very well might be. All right, let's go ahead and enter this and enter that down there. All right, what's that other trade here? USD Japanese yen sell. Let's check that out. Nope, won't be entering that trade. All right, so right now, USD CAD, GBP USD. Those are the two orders we're in. And as always, we do have the option of putting in another order. And I'll definitely be doing that after we get or if we get close to this sort of level right here. And as always, we do have a stop and a take profit in. And like I said, this probably wasn't the best trade to take. But just because we had such a uh, strong level here, decided to go ahead and jump into it. But for other people trading, it definitely would be uh, good to kind of wait for this to be, I guess, established more and maybe get a bit of a move in the direction of the arrow. But this trade does look really good. That future projection is pointing down heavily here. And you can see the arrow did, did just uh, switch over here. That means we broke this high right here most likely. All right, let me uh, pause it and I'll come back. All right, folks, it looks like we got a bit of a push up. So let's go ahead and enter a sell and a limit right here. 
So if the market pushes up past this level, we'll go ahead and enter another uh, short trade. Let's check on our USD CAD. All right, one other thing I want to make sure I do is show you guys the account history. So you can see that there hasn't been any uh, trading since the previous video. And as you can see here, this trade closed out March 3rd. And obviously today is March 6th, as you can see there. So there's been no trading on this account. And I'll try to make sure I uh, show you guys the account history at the end of the video as well. All right, so let's see how USD CAD is looking. Getting very close to being filled. And this will give us a better entry on this short trade here. and we should be getting filled on this one any second now all right usd japanese yen we got a sell order there let's take a look at that all right so we won't be taking that arrows pointing up All right, this USD CAD trade here. And again, with situations like this, this is uh, definitely a situation where you guys can learn from my mistakes. Do not take a trade when it's only one or two bars away from the arrow. Definitely kind of want to see it get a bit further away. So that way we can see this has been, you know, a bit more established, I guess you could say. And we were a few pips away from this trade entering, and we probably would have been able to close that second trade out. But yeah, that person that said after we uh, get the signal, might be a good idea to wait for a pullback. And I think that is definitely a good idea. But I do know uh, when I watch the vendor take these trades, I know he typically does not wait for a pullback. So that's why I haven't been waiting for a pullback. But that's something we can definitely look at doing. And as we can see here, if we had waited for a pullback, probably would have been around there. And we would have waited for it to get filled and hopefully it would have continued pushing in our direction. So let's see if we get filled there. GBP USD is definitely uh pushing down nicely here. And we were very, very close on getting that second order filled. Didn't come through, unfortunately. This would have been a nice one in trade. And between the two, we probably at this point could have closed them both out for a small profit.
We'll leave that where it is. Looks like the market does finally want to push up a bit there. We'll see if we get filled here. Hopefully this doesn't decide to use this level as a support now. But it very well may. You just have to be patient and see what happens. Okay, so this uh, USD CAD lost a lot of steam there. Tried to push up, wasn't really able to, and now we're right back to break even here. And again, if that order had been filled, we probably would have been able to close out. All right, let's see what we got now. All right, USD Japanese Yen, a sell order. Let's take a look at that. All right, still only looking for buy trades on USD Japanese Yen. And on GBP USD, let's see what the future predictor looks like. All right, so it's about even. And over here on USD CAD, it looks like we've lost our future projection here. But like I said earlier, what the uh, what somebody mentioned in the comments about, you know, placing a pending order or waiting for a pullback, that might be something I look at uh, testing here. There are going to be times where the market, of course, you know, just goes in the direction. But there are also going to be times like right here where we could have waited for or could have entered a uh, pending order. Got a much better fill. So that's going to be something I look at some point in the future here trying. All right, I'm going to pause it. I'll be back. All right, folks, getting close on GBP USD. We're at about four, uh, four dollars in profit. They're both bouncing around around that four dollars in profit before going back a little into the negative. So we'll see if we can't just get a, a bit of a stronger push on one of these. And you can see they're both going back and forth between slightly positive, slightly negative. do believe GBP USD is going to be the one or the first one to uh, give us our profit. There it is. All right, so GBP USD has been taken out for a profit. Now we're looking and waiting on USD CAD. And if this order gets filled, that's perfectly fine. We'll get a uh, fill at a better position here. All 
All right, let me pause it and I'll come back. All right, folks, we just got another signal here. Let's see, uh, 1035 USD CAD sell. Also, you guys will take note that our future predictor is pointing heavily down now on USD CAD. So that's something that we can uh, hopefully see actually happen here. Even if we get this second order filled, hopefully the future predictor is right and we'll continue to push down. So we're at this point just uh, continuing to be patient and waiting on the market to push in one direction or the other here. And it looks like we might be getting filled on this second order pretty soon. few pips away from it there it is all right so we just got entered in our second position so let's go ahead put that stop in and also put our take profit in And seeing that future predictor, excuse me, uh, future prediction here definitely gives me a bit more confidence in the trade now. So hopefully this will play out as the indicator is uh, printed on the chart. So we'll be patient, watch it, and I'll come back with you guys momentarily. All right, folks, in just that quick, you can see it was uh, pointing down. Now it's pointing up. So let's see if we can go ahead and continue to get a nice push down here. All right, let's take a look at some of the other trades here. As you can see, we also got Euro USD, a sell. Let's take a look at that. Unfortunately, this is outside of the grid, so we won't be taking that trade. We are in profit on that second order, but waiting for a nice push down to about this level again. At that point, we should be able to go ahead and close out for uh, our five bucks in profit there. All right, let me pause it. Should be an interesting trade, and we'll see what happens. All right, folks, just got another signal here. As we can see, this one is USD CAD sell. And things seem to be pointing back in our direction with the future prediction here. So like I said, there are times where the market does move swiftly in one direction or the other. And there are times where it moves sideways. We just happen to be in one of those times where things are just, you know, kind of bouncing up and down a little bit. So we'll have to be patient and just uh, let it play out one way or the other. I'll be back. All right, just wanted to give you guys another update here. We just had a new signal pop in. You can see USD Swiss franc sell. Definitely won't be taking that. And then we have a USD CAD buy. Definitely won't be taking that as we're already in a short trade here. And the future pre uh, prediction is pointing up. But that does change. We're already in a short trade, so we're still waiting on the market to push down here. All right, I'll be back. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Let's take a look and see if we get a healthy push down here. Looking for a push down to around this white line to get out of this trade. And we continue to, we bounce down to this sort of level right here twice now. So we're just waiting for a little bit of an extra push.
Almost got through the white line there. Let's see if we can't break through on this particular push. And we actually might be able to get this one back into profit. But not going to be greedy. We'll go ahead and take our profit on that. All right, so got $12.31 on the second order and lost $4.41. So we definitely made uh made more than the 5 bucks on that trade that we were initially looking for. So that was definitely a bit of a longer trade. And as you guys can see, we no longer have our future predictor here. And going forward, most likely we will uh, look at waiting for a pullback. So it looks like it did decide to finally push through that level. So yeah, going forward, it's already after or right around 11 o'clock. So we'll stop for the day. Things are starting to move slow, it looks like. And let's just do a quick run through here. And again, so we can see here, first trade closed out, or excuse me, I don't think this was the first trade. I'm not sure. I don't recall. But GBP USD, we got our $5.75 on that trade. Second trade today, USD CAD got about seven or eight bucks on that particular trade across the uh, two orders that we had in and again starting tomorrow we will be waiting for a pullback before we enter the trade and we'll see if that uh, works out better for us all right i'll see you guys on tomorrow's update take care